Hey Daniel, what's up, bro? You coming to the meeting later? Am I gonna see you at the meeting? Cool, man. Hey, dude. Hey, Stratus. What's up, buddy? <laughs> is that the frozen pizza or is that you, dude? Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> anyway, you coming to that meeting later? I can roll you a tubby. We can. I can meet you in the parking lot. I can roll you a tubby. Uh, but I mean, if you're if you're gonna come to the uh, the meeting later. Hey, Olaf, bro. Bro, Olaf. <laughs> Are you coming to the meeting later? Nice, man. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you at the meeting. <laughs> Oscar, what's up, bro? Yeah, dude. Well, no, the Amy's lasagnas, those go on the other aisle. Yeah. Six. Yeah. Yeah. Not cool, bro. Well, are you coming to the meeting later? Sick, yeah. I'll, I'll see you. Well, I'll see you there. <laughs> anyway, bro. Anyway, bro. Have a good day, dude. <laughs> hey, Randy. What's up? What's up, bro? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I heard about your brother, man. I'm really sorry to hear that. If you need anything, you know, we're here. We're, we're a family, so, you know. Don't, uh, don't hesitate, you know. Yeah. Oh, no, the granola bars go where they usually go. And then maybe put a couple by the register. All right, sick, bro. See you later. <laughs> Danny, what's up, dude? Are you coming to the meeting later? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Are you going to be at the meeting? Sick, bro. Yeah, cool. Well, I mean, we're all going to meet in the parking lot beforehand. Uh, Daryl brought his hack, and uh, so it's going to be cool. But yeah, just make sure you're at the meeting. You know, I mean, we'll, yeah, of course we'll, you know, we'll wait till management leaves and stuff. But then we're going to have a meeting, so. Sick, bro. Catch you later. Catch you later. <laughs> what's up? Willie. Willie with the wines. <laughs> hey, what's up, bro? You stocking the wines? Sick, man. Well, hey, are you coming to that meeting later? Nice. Yeah, no, you can talk to me on your break. Sick, bro. All right, yeah, well, we'll see you later, man. Uh, When are you off? Five? Okay, cool. Yeah, so maybe around like 5.30 we can kick it and then go to the meeting. Sick, bro. Okay. Alright, later, man. Ooh, yeah. Cracking a tasty one. <laughs> Don't tell management. <laughs> nice. Nate, what's up, bro? Are you coming to the meeting later? Nice. Yeah, cool, bro. Yeah, we'll be there. We'll, we'll be in the parking lot around 5.30. That's when I get off. Sick, bro. All right, cool. Well, huh. later. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. I'll see you at the meeting. Nice. Hey, Ashley, what's up, dude? Are you coming to the meeting? Sick. Oh, he died? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, if you ever need anything, we, you can talk to me. We're, you know, we're like a family here. We really are. Okay, yeah. Anywhere you come to the meeting? Nice. Yeah, well, we're all going to be in the parking lot around like 5.30. Yeah, when is Barry going to finish breaking down those boxes? He's been out there all morning, dude. I think he's just smoking back there. I think he's out there getting oinked. No joke. For all. All right, well, well, we'll catch you later, bro. Hey, Jonah. What's up, dude? Are you going to be at the meeting later? Sick. Yeah, we're meeting in the parking lot at like 530. When do you get off? Oh, damn, you're off at 12? Well, can you come back? I mean, we, we're going to have dinner here, dude. I'm bringing food. 
All right, man. I mean, it's. I mean, you know what they say. It's not a million without Jonah. Jonah. Sick. All right. Well, I really hope I see you there, dude. We're meeting up at 5:30 in the parking lot. So just let me know, bro. Sick. All right. Catch you later. Tom. What's up, Tom? What's up, Tom? <laughs> Yeah, the trail mix is in bulk now. It's over in the bulk bins. Yeah, they moved it. I think it's so they could keep an eye on it. People were getting a little hands in here. You know, <laughs> so, yeah. Dried mango is, is... No, dried mango doesn't go in produce. That's in bulk, too. Sick, bro. Are you coming to the meeting later? Tight. That's tight. Yeah, we'll see you. Uh, we're meeting in the parking lot at 5.30. So... Sick, bro. All right, yeah, can't wait. I'll see you there. What's up, Mark? Hey, bro. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, wow. Morning shift, am I right? <laughs> Sick. Are you on checkout? Sick, dude. All right, well, are you coming to the meeting later? Sick. Mark's always down for the meeting. What's up, Sarah? What's up? Are you coming to the meeting later? We're meeting up at the parking lot at 5.30. Sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, management, management won't be there. They'll already be gone. All right, sick. Thanks. Yeah, we'll see you there. Yeah, you can come early, but, like, you know, don't. Don't be, like, super obvious or anything. No, I don't think you should bring your boyfriend, but... I mean, if you want to. Does he need a job? Okay. Sick. Hey, what up, Fergus? Wow, wow, wow. Fergus. First Fergus. Fergus. You still in beverages? Oh, nice. No, I haven't tried that one. Passion fruit? Sounds pretty good. I don't know. I think the strawberry kombucha, like, can't really be topped, but whatever. I mean, I'll try it. You got samples? Sick. Well, are, you, are, you coming to the, are you coming to the meeting later? Yeah, we're meeting at, like, 5.30 in the parking lot. Sick, bro. Yeah, I'll see you there. All right, later, Fergus. Matt, what's up, man? What cheese is on is on the sample today? Is that some kind of pepper jack? Sick, bro. Well, are you coming to the meeting later? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll be there. I don't know, like 6.15? It won't be long. It's not going to be long, but we just, you know, we just need to figure out how we're going to pull everything together, how we're going to do it. Sick, man. Yeah, Chopo Bless. Sick, dude. Yeah, I'll see you later. Peace. 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 What's up, Rich? Rich. 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 What's up, bro? Is there still parking? I don't know. Just normally you're done by now. Sick, bro. Well, are you coming to the meeting later? Yeah, we're just meeting up in the parking lot. I mean, <laughs> I know you're there all day, but <laughs> if you if you want to come back around 5.30, bro. <laughs> Sick, man. Yeah. All right, dude. Chopo bless. Hey, what's up? Hey, are you guys coming to the meeting later? We're meeting in the, uh, in the parking lot around 5, 5.30. I'm off at 5, but we'll start at 5.30. Sick. Yeah, yeah, we'll be there. Nice. <laughs> hey, what's hey, up, everybody? What's up, everybody? <laughs> what's up? Thanks for meeting me at work. It's kind of hectic. It's kind of tough to, like, manage the stream and my job and everything. We're out here at uh, Pahrump Natural Foods. Um, 
don't, you know, maybe don't tell anybody this, but I'm kind of trying to organize this place. Like, uh, not just a union, but like, you know, more tribe members. So, kind of trying to overthrow the management. Uh, it's going well. I don't, they don't really suspect Chopo. Uh, you know, Chopo's quitting uh, just as soon as we I get that first check and I'll get the van fixed. And then. So if, for anybody who doesn't know, this is the deal. Little Thursday Boy is in prison in Pahrump, Nevada, which is where Chopo is right now. Chopo's van broke down. Well, it's Zeph's van, but Chopo's borrowing it. Chopo needs to get cash, hence this stupid job. <laughs> Am I right? Working is for chumps. chumps. Uh, so once we get that first check, we'll fix the van, and we're getting the heck out of here. But I figured in the meantime, why not, why not start another branch of the tribe? You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're doing. And I think it's working. I mean, I, I, I'm having meetings every other day. Everybody gets together. We sing. They touch my feet. Uh, it's going pretty well, I gotta be honest. Like, I didn't really think this would all, you know, I got some pretty loyal tribe members out here already. And the cool thing is they all work here. So they're not, they're not like trying to mooch anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, employed cult members are highly underrated. I don't know why. I mean, I guess maybe that's the draw of being in a cult is you get to quit your job or whatever. But like, dude, cult members with a little bit of cash pretty good pretty smart stuff i don't think i don't think other people really ever you know caught on to that one uh but anyway welcome thanks for meeting me at work and uh hey wow well, let's get into, into it, it huh here so today we're starting with uh someone named fit jesus you guys know about fit fit j uh let me get it get this stuff up here Let's have a beautiful experience. In this video, we're going to talk about positive affirmations with confirmation to assure the manifestation of a bigger penis. It's a beautiful thing. You got to love it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, before we get started here, please do me a huge, huge favor. <laughs> please ring the bell. <laughs> I like how he flexes. I like his long black pinky nail. I'm into this guy. And if he needs a job, he should let me know. Subscribe to the channel, you know, tell some friends. And of course, follow me on my social media. I go by Jesus underscore Detroit on my you know, ins uh, Instagram, Snapchat, I'm young Dago. And yes, that's right. In this video, we're going to talk about. Uh, you can probably see the text, but anyway, he's going to talk. He's going to talk about positive affirmations, confirmations, bigger penis growth. So I can't wait to get into that. I don't know about the uh, Minneapolis food co-op wars. I don't know anything about that. So tell me, Sarah. Put it put it in the friggin' chat. And what's up, Alexandria and Kat and all the regulars and Alyssa? Sorry, I was ignoring you. I was just trying to just trying to organize. You know, it takes a little work. Um, the powers and the beliefs of positive affirmations with confirmation, some law of attraction techniques to help you with the manifestation of a bigger piece. And that's what I'm all about here with the BCC, the Big Cock Collective, the Big Cock Consciousness, where I help people <laughs> become the best version. You know, I help people make their penis. People talk about big dick energy, but they don't talk about big cock consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> it's bigger, wider, thicker, longer, stronger, and harder. And yeah, that's what I'm about. I'm a spiritual guide, a mentor, and I can... He's a spiritual guide. You know, I think that that's a, uh, you know, a lot of spiritual guides will maybe try to get you just to a place of, like, peace. There's, like, a good baseline. But this guy's the extras, you know what I mean? This guy is the toppings on a on a peaceful life, you know? A, a larger, a l larger genitals. And help you become your best version. Now, with that being said, this whole, like, you know, you want to use positive affirmations to confirm, you know, your manifestation. And, of course, you know, the main thing is you're going to have to definitely, you know, focus on that particular area. You're going to have to focus on your penis. <laughs> 
He's the best. Um, man, he's loading kind of slow, but bummer. The good news is, we don't we don't really have. And you're to gonna have to you know get into this video too much because he he made a, a lot more. So this is his channel, and so this this video is about penis growth. This one's about penis growth. This one's about penis growth, and there's a picture of Joaquin Phoenix as the Joker. This one's called Forget About It, Bigger Penis Growth. Uh, possessed, Bigger Penis Growth. And none of these have above 500 views, by the way. And it seems like he's posting more than one a week. Uh, procrastination, Bigger Penis Growth. So it's all, this is, look, we're scrolling. These are all about penis growth with, with just small changes made to the thumbnail. Not cold weather, bigger penis growth. Be cool, bigger penis growth. Uh, listen to your body, bigger penis growth. Um, blue balls, bigger penis growth. Hibernation sleep, bigger penis growth. It's like, what is this guy on, man? It's like he's smoking freaking freaking Tom Leap and Thorn Scrub. I think this guy's on Tom Leap and Thorn Scrub. Uh, and then we get to the bottom. And what is his second video? Oral B versus Sonicare. Which toothbrush is best? So perhaps let's get into that. Let's because he has a lot of thoughts on penis growth, but you know, I, I've I've been faced with the decision of you know, do I want uh, Oral B? Do I want uh, Sonicare? You know, people talk about the water pick. People say you could pick your teeth with Tom Leap and Thorn Scrub, but I've actually never tried that. Uh, so let's let's see what his opinions are. Let's have a beautiful experience. This video we're going to be talking about something near and dear to me, a smile. And my tips, my secrets, my beliefs to give you that superstar smile that we all have on the... <laughs> yeah. One of the most important factors of brushing your teeth. Oh yeah, also, you know, I don't, I don't know. I'm seeing everybody's comment twice. Uh, I got, I, I don't know. I think I have to like log in to something again. Uh, but it looks like everybody is able to, to see everything and join in on Twitch and Facebook. But if you're not, let me know and we can, whatever. We'll freaking, I don't know, smoke some Tama Leap and Thorn Scrub. You know what I'm saying? It's consistency and knowing the timing of when to brush it. Most importantly, my theory is, before you go to sleep, nothing touches your teeth. So, you know, because when you're talking throughout the day, you know, you're constantly drinking food. All right, man. I thought I had heard every hot take in the spiritual world, in the New Age culture. 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 I have not once heard anybody say, don't brush your teeth before you go to bed. You know, there's like a better time to do it. This is a new take for me. Fluid, your saliva is moving, anything that's sitting on your teeth constantly is getting moved around. Whereas when you're sleeping, it's more of a, you know, it's shut down, it's stagnant, you know, who knows what's going on for the, you know, six to 12 hours or whatever you're sleeping for. So be mindful of that. Another thing is you got to floss. Flossing, you know, the <laughs> dentists say it. Yeah. A lot of people like to, you know, think that their dental plan is just just have a dentist. <laughs> I want I want to get into the weeds. I want to get into the Tama Leap and Thorn Scrub about these two brands. I mean, if this is a product review, he, this man has 200 videos about how to grow your penis and one about Oral B versus Sonicare. So I'm hoping for a definitive answer on which is better. Power. I believe in buying the better heads, you know, because like I said, you invest in your smile. Everybody, you know, you know, you can only afford whatever you can afford. That's understandable. But like I said, a dentist is not cheap, so invest in your teeth. So this particular model, Series Three, as you see, you know, I use this thing. I get, the, <laughs> you know, this type of head or whatever. The intro, I believe it's called, so they stick out a little bit. I want to just uh, tell you that, you know, the sound that this thing gives you, the feel in the hand, it's a beautiful thing. So watch, give me a quick demo. You got one, Here we go. two, three, and, or 
three, you know, so like, no. Does anybody have one of these? Can anybody speak to the three speeds? My, mine only has one speed, and then I have a manual brush with soft bristles. Um, I used to use, like, medium bristles, but that felt like I was cleaning my teeth with Tom Alipin Thorn Scrub, so I opted for the soft bristles. I, I, I use this thing a lot, I've been it for over a year. So you hear that sound, you put it on your teeth, you just, you know, you can really... So this is long, I mean, we're not gonna get to the whole thing, but what's what's the better brush from Fit Jesus? The race car that, you know, and it's like, you wanna know, just... <laughs> he is pretending to be sponsored, yeah. Fucked me up. <laughs> you know, give him a quick polish. This thing's like, you know, gives you that vibe. Ah, shit. So Sonicare's maybe not so good then, huh? At the end of the day, you're going to want to take care of your teeth. Yeah. Recommend any type of toothbrush that you're going to have. Just no, sure listen, you listen. You know what? I'm tired of letting these people off the hook. You promised me the title of the video is which toothbrush is best. I don't want any of this backing down. I don't want this. I want you to tell me, okay? Otherwise, I'm going to go out and I'm going to chew Tama Leap and Thorn Scrub. And that's how I'm going to clean my teeth. Fit Jesus. I need an answer. I need answers now. Make sure that you, you know, make sure you're breaking out the floss. This stuff is no joke. One of the particular reasons that I carry a, you know, a purse. Hey, big bless. So Thank you. Thank you. Yep, I'm back. I floss with me at all times. It's like, you know, you go out to eat and it's just <laughs> like, you know, you don't want anything in your teeth. Like, I, His teeth look good. I trust him on the penis stuff. <laughs> Maybe I got to go back more. Maybe he'll talk about which one's bad and which one's good. This is in, the, you know, the high setting. And like I said, you could just... Right. I, I know how to use it. You just feel that. You know what I mean? You, you will like feel it. They just, it's just true. Scrubbing it better. You know what I mean? The vibration's great, but sometimes you're going to want to have that dentist feel. Recommend this. At the end of the day, they're both beautiful. And, you know, this one's got a whole bunch of other bells and whistles on it. You got he seems to be more into the Oral-B. The sensitive, you got the diamond, you got this diamond thing. Speaking What's that? Ferrari, it kind of sounds like a race car. That... Oh, okay, so it's just like a more powerful thing. Anyway, let's get back to, you know, his normal content, uh, which is how to get a bigger... Let's have a beautiful experience. In this video, we're going to be talking about why being... He started that catchphrase at the beginning f with the, from the very beginning, w from the toothbrush video. Let's have a beautiful experience. I love this, these smaller YouTubers who have consistency in their brand and they have a catchphrase from day one. I really admire it, it's really nice. It's almost like, uh, it's kind of like if you chew on Tom Leapin Thorn Scrub, you know, you kind of have the taste in your mouth for a while. Brand identity is a lot like that. Happy is the secret to having a huge, Beautiful penis. It's a beautiful thing. You gotta love it. Let's see. Okay. So we've seen the intro. We've we've heard him talk about penises, but let's see, you know, what how how do you actually make this happen? Bad, you know, visualization. We're not talking about fear, but I'm gonna get you out of this and make beautiful things appear. Just listen. You're in that situation where you're in the sleep paralysis. You're oh, listening shit. to listen to right, you're listening. Okay, so sleep paralysis has something to do with the size of your penis. To a guy that, you know, will fall in and out of it constantly in a night, like, you know, five, six times, and wake up in a dream within a dream within another dream. Oh, shit. And I still know how to get out of them, and I'm going to help you along the way. So all you got to do is smile it away, and that's what you can do when you're in these places, man. I promise you it will work. So, like, you might feel like there's something over here, like, you know, and then what you got to tell yourself is, this is, this is beautiful. Whatever this is, the <laughs> universe is on my side. Your sleep paralysis, your sleep paralysis demon is beautiful. Just, you know, treat it like Tama Leap and Thorn Scrub. Just brush it away. Everything in me is beautiful. This thing is not going to get to me. I am love. I am beautiful. Just say stuff like that just to make you feel right. And just smile and understand that, you know what? This is an entertaining dream that I'm having right now. Maybe you don't like scary movies. Maybe you could just pretend you're just going through nice. a quick horror okay. flick real quick. And you just 
kind of smiling, and then all of a sudden, man, it will just, just disappear like that. I swear, man, it just goes away. And when I do that, I'm actually able to get into lucid dreaming states or just get out. There's a part where he talks uh, talks about farts, and I, I want to find it. A mood is just like a cloud. Here we go. I nailed it. Can you believe that? I've clicked right where I wanted it to be. I don't have notes. I'm not sitting over here with a bushel of tomaleep and thorn scrub making notes about the smile, be happy, huge penis growth video. I just nailed it. Chopo bless. It just comes by, it goes, don't let it, don't give too much power to it. Cause a lot of people like do, like they do this. They get a bad mood that comes over them. And instead of just letting that cloud just kind of dissipate, they take it and they just get into the it. Succubus, you know? fuckubus. Here's a quick analogy that I like to say about it. It's like somebody farts in an elevator. Yeah, I know we're going there. <sighs> you know, um. Okay, so I nailed where I wanted to click, but I, I fully blew it on not having the Tim Allen home improvement noise ready. God, shit. I blew it. I blew it. That was on my list of things to do, is to have that queued up. Shit. Somebody farts in an elevator, you can do two things. You can either be like, you fart, and then you could be like, the guy that owns it. You know what? Actually, no, good point. Thank you for your support, Chopo Bless. We're going to use this guy's home improvement grunt instead of the Tim Allen original, because perhaps it's even superior and maybe we should hear it again 1620 let's go for it you know oh no okay so it's not 1620 it's at about 1615 let's hit it about it's like somebody farts in an elevator yeah i know we're going there <laughs> you know um <laughs> somebody farts in an elevator you can do i want to know if he was if he wanted it to be the home improvement thing he looks like he's in the right demographic uh to appreciate that but I, i'm not really sure two things you can either be like, you fart, and then you could be like, the guy that owns it, so yeah, I did. And then when you do that, you're gonna get that person that's like, oh man, smells like ranch. Oh my God, smells like death. Oh yeah. Smells like ranch? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you do all these, like, you make it worse than what it is, is what I'm trying to say. Like, if you just, just kind of be like, nah, whatever. And then like, well, I got kind of smells bad. Might watch it dissipate a lot quicker. Kind <laughs> of smells bad. He's, he does an Owen Wilson, he does a Tim Allen, he'll make your genitals big, he'll keep your teeth clean. I mean, this is the kind of content you need to be watching. Then being like, yeah, I did, and then they're like, oh, man, it smells like that. You know, and that just makes things worse, man. You're opening up a bubble that doesn't need to be open. Like, why are we opening up this portal? Like, we can open up the beautiful <laughs> one. <laughs> Why are we opening up this portal when we could open up a beautiful one? I should say that more at my job here at Prump Natural Foods, you know, when somebody is discussing something that's a little bit off topic. Why are we opening that portal? Okay. And that all starts within. It starts with smiling. It starts with being happy. But you know what? Maybe you can laugh about a fart too. And if it's doing that for you, then it's doing something beautiful. And that's what you got to consider. Is it going to make you smile or is it going to bring you down? Because if it's bringing you down, we don't do that. We only do ups, man. So make yourself feel beautiful. Don't dwell on things like, uh, you know, uh, something that puts you in a bad mood. Just kind of, you know, do anything that you can just smile. Listen to a podcast. Listen to, uh, yeah, listen you know, to a podcast. anything that just takes you out of that, that will just put you in a better state of being do it and you know some people might be telling you you got to put the phone down and all these you know spiritual guru experts will tell you you don't you don't want to be on the phone for the first 20 minutes of the day and you don't want to do this and yet yeah, that blah blah whatever man teach their own is all i gotta say because all truths are true and whatever is helping you be the best you it's something you gotta do so if you gotta get on the phone to make yourself feel beautiful in the morning you know what just to get you out of that mood there's not Man, I don't know when he starts talking about how to get a bigger penis, but but I'm sold. Let's do a little bit of uh, light language. Hello. Have we have we watched this before? This this seems like something that Little Thursday Boy would have shown, uh, but it only has 300 views and it's from September, so I think it's I think we're good to go. I think it's clear. I'm the studio. 
If you haven't seen these videos before, welcome, welcome back if you have. My intention is unity and oneness. Hey, what's up, asshole? I've been trying to do a video. Um, it's just one of those days where I'm struggling with the words, so I'm just gonna go into flow. Here we go. We're going into flow. Spark up your Tama Leapin' Thorn Scrub. We're going into flow. Here we go. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I watched Police Academy last night and Michael Winslow uh, is truly a pioneer of light language uh, in that film. I, re I, I actually, I, I've set out a goal for myself to watch all seven Police Academy films before the end of the year. Uh, wish me luck. Kia oa te estok uena at at et an ar ak estestra ak ur ok ur ok ur Ere gana do ne dai Ua he ana As we come into focus, as we come into centripetal focus, as we come into our centripetal, you sound like you have a mouthful of Tom Leap and Thorn Scrub. Higher forces, as we renew ourselves through the aspect of the heart, the emerald stone, kish te awak ukuana gem stone dua wa et ish te na akua. As we allow ourselves to reflect outwardly, dush te kunua. Michael Winslow, you know, I'd love to because the part. His part in Police Academy, I can't remember the character's name, but Michael Winslow's part in Police Academy was clearly written for him. And, and, and I, was, I was watching Police Academy with somebody who had never seen it before. And, you know, in, in, in today's world, you'd think, oh, they just dubbed that over. That's a digital sound. And, but Michael Winslow, in, you know, and this was 1984, you know, that, I guess that was possible. They could have dubbed it over, but they wrote a part in a movie specifically for a man who could make uh, sounds with his mouth. So I'm, I'm guessing maybe he made some TV appearances before Police Academy, but uh, yeah, really incredible. Like, I, you know, I would listen to maybe a half an hour long podcast about uh, his origins. But I, yeah, I really like Michael Winslow. We connect in with the roads of our ancestors, the rose of our ancestors. It's so, you know, so she doesn't really have this down, and I, I'm gonna say this uh, with peace and love, but really what's going on here, what's going on is that I'm forgetting what she said before the, the last block of, of light language. I think that, um, you know, something more like, <laughs> I think that's maybe a little bit better because I'm just not really following this. I'm enjoying it, but I'm not really getting much of the content. It's kind of like, it's kind of like maybe I, I, I my lunchbox is caught up in some Tama Leap and Thorn Scrub and I can't quite get it out. You know, what I'm, you know what I mean? It's a little bit frustrating. Flux patterns that do not, um, I'm seeing a lot of pictures. You're seeing pictures. They don't pictures. always create from a higher height, so to speak. It's like a heightened state of awareness. It's like those old fluctuations are... An all right. Anyway, I think we got all we're going to get out of that. Let's talk about uh, Zane Daniel. Hi, I'm Zane. All right. Now we need to watch this from the beginning, okay? Are you ready? Are you buckled up? All right, have you clear, cleared all the Tama Leap and Thorn Scrub off your monitor? Good, let's, this is an introduction to Zane Daniel. Hi, 
I'm Zane Daniel, and I'm excited because today I'm recording my YouTube introduction video. But interestingly, you're actually watching that YouTube video right now. Okay. This is gonna, this is pretty highbrow stuff. Normally what we do here is post brow. There is no brow involved, but this is high brow, okay? So we're watching his YouTube introduction video and he's saying he's recording it. Now I'm gonna back it up just a little bit. And let's see, let's see if you can follow this. Let's see how high your brows can go. But interestingly, you're actually watching that YouTube video right now. So how are both of these things true? Well, it all stems from our understanding of the illusion of time. We believe that tomorrow hasn't happened yet and that yesterday is already done. When in fact, all time happens simultaneously. In As, I, I bet if this guy watched Deadpool, he would flip his fucking lid like it, he would not be able to handle Deadpool or Deadpool 2 or Fleabag. God forbid this man ever watches Fleabag. He, I mean, we'd never get him out of we'd never get him out, out of the tree. You know, he'd climb up a tree. He'd climb into some Tama Leap and Thorn Scrub, and we'd never be able to get get him out. This man's comprehension of uh, the causal universe is is skewed to a point where I think really all we can do at this point is protect him from Ryan Reynolds and Phoebe Waller Bridge. In the infinite now, and that's why, as a Hathor energy healer. If I make a recording of a group activation and you watch that recording at a separate time, then you'll receive the healing as though you're watching it live. And that healing modality, the soul essence activation, where I'm bringing the best versions of your past incarnations forward into your current one as it relates to your life's purpose. And if you watch the videos on this channel. All right, shit. So he records it in the past. We watch it in the future future or i guess we watch it in the infinite now but wait but he recorded it in the now but he's bringing our best selves from the past into the future man i feel like i just smoked a bunch of tama leap and thorn scrub i'm freaking out you'll definitely receive that healing i also travel around the country in this camper van giving talks at conferences expos and festivals and also setting up workshops to help people transition from experiencing low vibrational emotional experiences like fear and shame and but when but when do i feel that and when does it go away like like I, i've never propagated tama leap and thorn scrub but i don't think that it i don't think that it's always matured i i do think that it comes from seed not wet fruit that that wouldn't work with that region but for it to de-hiss i you know i think that it can't all be in the infinite now moving to the highest possible vibrational experience unconditional love i also write and publish my own comic book series called righteous now here we go this is <laughs> this is what we're talking about about a mass spiritual awakening so each week i'll be recording a new any directors in the chat, take note. This is a transition. You ever get, you ever see a script and it says smash cut to, you know, Darren climbing out of a bush of Tom Leap and Thorn Scrub? Nay, no smash cut. You leave, you leave like almost a second, 12 frames of lead in of someone sitting into frame. That's the new, that's the new smash cut in 2021. About a mass spiritual awakening. So there each we week go. I'll be recording a new video or going live to talk about unconditional love. Zane Daniel introduces his comic book. <laughs> Here we go. Mid shot. Zane Daniel introduces his comic book series. Sit cut to Zane Daniel wearing a different blazer and shirt. <laughs> Sits into frame. A sit cut. That's what we're talking about in 2021. The path to ascension, the human emotional experience, and the nature of time, and so many other topics. And they'll be peppered with group activations that you can receive just by watching the videos. So I invite you to subscribe. You can click on the little bell icon to be notified of future updates. And please introduce yourself in the comments of this video.
I implore everybody to introduce yourself to Zane. So, okay, so we gotta hear about his his comic book, right? I mean, that's just gonna happen. We, um, it's called Righteous, which, I mean, maybe I'm not the most confident cult leader, but, you know, I don't think I would name something that I made, uh, I don't think I would name it Righteous. I think maybe that's aiming a little bit too high, but let's see what Zane does with it. We're making a comic series that teaches the importance of helping others. My name is Zane Daniel. I'm the writer and producer of Righteous. Artists all over the world create this comic series. Most What's the budge on this thing? People don't realize that if we just spend a little bit more time helping others, that many of the world's problems would go away. The book starts off showing how one person can make a difference. And then, as the kindness spreads, things start to change for the <laughs> Handing money to somebody and saying, cashola. Better. It's not without conflict because any good story needs. Because what we are doing is wrong. Is conflict. Reading but the resolution now. of that conflict leads to a better society. So we take a greedy corporate analyst and we give him an experience that changes his entire worldview. He at first. No way. Jen's new, but she won't slow me down. I'm gonna rock this account, Chuck. First tries to resist giving himself to others, but then eventually just comes to love it. The fun part is that his compassion is contagious. Maybe you're so right, every person Greg. he helps does the same thing. We get to watch <laughs> as giving and kindness takes over the world. And it makes your eyes glow. So Our goal cool. is to save the world one comic page at a time. His name is Zane with an X too, so that's pretty cool. Um, he can remove alien implants from you. Alien implants, entity implants, stuck inside your astral body, your physical body can cause all kinds of different issues in your- Have you really met Billy Zane? That's wild as hell, man. In the back, in the far distance, it looks like there might be a small outcropping of Tomalip in the thorn scrub, but I, I can't be sure. Life, very similar to negative entity attachments, but from a slightly different place. You're carrying it around with you. In hey, this video, bless, Caro. I'm going to be doing activations to remove physical implants and to remove astral implants. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's do it. Blast me. I have a lot of experience with negative entity attachments and I've taught classes on removing them and removed lots and lots of negative entities. So from that perspective, implants and entities really aren't that different. They're both attached to you. You have to deal with them and they can cause negative experiences. They're just in different categories of negative experiences. So I'm excited to do this for you. And my guides say that it's quite easy for me to. He has guides. Anyway, when he actually does it, he tells you to close your eyes and then it's, then it's dark. So let's listen to some of it. If anybody does have an implant, you know, by all means, I'm not charging for this. And you'll wait for me to say the word awaken. This word will be somewhat explosive, so don't be alarmed. <sighs> breath in. Okay, breath in. Zanes are bad. We all agree. Awaken! <laughs> oh shit. Sorry, I buried the lead there. Awaken! <laughs> Sounds like Bashar. Shigadenu. I say good day to you. Excellent. That is really all there is to it. If you guys want me to turn off, if you guys want me to, you know, walk out of the natural food store, let me know. I realize it might be, if somebody has an implant and they're hearing my, my place of employment in the background, it might be uh, a bit distracting. If you had any implants in your astral body, then they have been removed. That's it. That's it, man. That's all it takes. And like I said earlier, if you discover that they have been replaced, 
then let me know in the comments and I'll work with you to see if we can get them permanently removed. Okay, let's check the comments. Does anybody say, Zane, my implant came back, dude. Help me out, Zane. Zane, you said you were gonna help me, dude. Zane, what the heck, dude? Oh, there's some long comments here. My experience was this. Within 24 hours of completing this activation, the next night, I had fallen asleep on my living room couch and had an extreme event occur at my home. I woke up startled between 1.30 a.m. and 2 a.m. to hard banging on my front door. I live in a quiet suburb community where nothing like this happens. <laughs> in, and then in quotes, to me. I jumped, turned off the TV, stepped on some tomaleep and thorn scrub, rolled onto the floor and was quiet five seconds max. Then I saw bright floating lights throughout my backyard, through the floor length shaded windows. Oh fuck, this is long. I was shook, scared. The surveillance later showed no physical person at my front door, nor property. The security arm, okay man, shit, this is long. Uh, I used to be obsessed with watching alien encounter, alien encounter shows on TV. I now believe that I probably invited the implant encounter years ago through my sheer obsession towards it at the time, and they came back, knocked to show their return, and flashed the same lights in my backyard as seen years ago to help me now correlate the prior event occurrence. This alien implant removal activation is the real deal, people. I mean, talk about engagement. This is really what we want. And Zane loves it. If you would have told me 10 years ago I'd be making YouTube videos about removing alien implants, I would have said, you mean fictional ones, right? But here we are. I'm hopeful that this video can end your suffering. <laughs> Please let me know if it has. I love hearing from you. Some tips, guys. It takes time to heal. Breath work and getting your mind ultra present and empty is key. Cleanse often and refrain from negative dense places and tomaleep and thorn scrub. Get plenty of nature and sunlight. Don't fight. Wow. Yeah. Shit, there are a lot of comments. I didn't I didn't know that. Well, that felt like an entire body brace came off of the whole body. Wow. Thanks. This was really interesting. Fuck man, am I smoking Tom Leapin Thorn Scrub or did this guy not really not really remove my implant? I've had an implant for years. It's one of those little metal balls that's in my shin. It fucking hurts, dude. Hey, are you gonna be at the meeting later? Here's a video about physical Make ascension everyone's... symptoms as we move into 5D. So can anybody explain to me why 5D is called the fourth density? Oh shit, you know what? I was supposed to show this earlier. Um, here's some tones to uh, increase the size of your penis. Let's listen to it f for a while. I get I guess I I don't know. I guess I feel a little different. How's your is anybody's uh th thing doing anything? Please comment, uh, please comment in the comments uh, what you call this vegetable. Do you call it zucchini or, or do you call it courgette? Can you, oh, can you not even hear it? Maybe, I bet, um, I bet if you're, if you don't have headphones, it's probably out of phase. So it's probably uh, can canceling itself out. Um, <laughs> yeah, the cash register noises definitely help. <laughs> Green squash, yeah. I'm into it. I'm into it, dude. Oh, uh, let's get into this guy. You know, I don't like to show people who I, I don't think are, you know, mentally sound, but this dude's pretty cool. He's pretty fun. So. And if there is. <laughs> the video starts from the middle which i like uh no beginning no end really just 59 seconds of the middle chunk 
This guy, this guy knows what Tama Leap and Thorn Scrub is. I tell you what. And if there is a, is a, isn't a place, why don't we create a place? And if not, why not right here? Why don't we create a place outside of this tyrannical, oligarchical system, this government, this governmental, and where we can actually be vegan and grow our own food and uh not be polluting the land and actually you know not be disgracing the land but work in unison with the land and of course we still want wi-fi now okay now here we go now this is something i can get behind okay yeah i want to go to a place where i can be vegan all right but yes we want wi-fi no, we don't want Tama Leap and Thorn Scrub, but yes, we want Wi-Fi. But we want to build a cod house. Cod house. And you know what I'm saying? Like, why isn't there a place where the aborigines can live off the land? What the fuck? Why not? And then they're disgracing the land, and there's all this plastic being burned off, and all these folk talking all this and that. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Can't we just ship them off? Well, to California? Hold on, hold on. I mean, com China? Common China? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't really know who he's talking about, but I like it. He talks about tantric sex. Oh. So y'all, peace. We're just out here breathing in the good ass prana baby. And today I'm going to be talking about a multi multiple topics, kind of adding in uh, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Um. But basically, from the last video that we were making about tantric sex, um, basically, I, I was going to like to add in that, uh, you know, whenever you do, like, you know, whenever you're having, you know, that anal pleasure with yourself or whatever. A succubus fuckubus. Whatever you, uh, you're draining the prostate gland. You're draining the prostate gland. That's that's pretty much the goal. You know what I'm saying? Is I mean, would you believe that this man went to went to med school? To drain the prostate gland of fluids, um, and that can help with like you know ridding any uh you know like stagnant energy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, bringing that up. You know, letting that energy flow. You don't want to be stagnant. You think about stagnant waters. They basically uh they basically get like parasites and uh diseases you know bacteria and stuff so yeah uh another with so there you go drain your prostate or you'll get a parasite you heard it you heard it from my doctor right here tom leap and thorn scrub that like with bacteria you can just um you can just like take take you know coconut oil it can help with bacteria as well so yeah doing that um but basically you know we made a video about that in the past Who's we? I want to. Who's your partner, dog? We made a video about that in the past, and it was a it was a pretty alright video. You know what I'm saying? You know how to play <laughs> yeah. with a woman. You know how to how to you know do anal play with a man, and you know uh, so forth. Um, you know, and with a woman, you know, from what I heard, they they don't have a prostate gland, uh, but at the same time, you from what I heard. I mean, I guess you could say that unless you, I don't know, unless you've like uh, done done an autopsy or, a, you know, some kind of a scan, which most of us have not. But yeah, from what I've heard, women don't, don't have the prostate gland. You know, there there is like, you know, a way to have anal sex that's pleasurable for them. Um, and it's just like, like I was saying, they wouldn't like a pen from what women have said, they wouldn't like a penis that's five over five inches. <laughs> um, and I can second that, but yeah, basically it's like, and I can second that by the big oaks. Basically it's like, you know, um, it's all about an angle. You know what I'm saying? With sex, like it's all about an angle. Cause you can, you can like hit the, um, G spot of a woman from the anus actually. Um, I've never heard somebody say those words while like getting something out of their eye before. And, and I kind of like that. I kind of like the, yeah. So you know, you can uh, you can hit the G spot, you know, through the through the anus. While you're, <laughs> it kind of makes you look smart to like get something out of your eye. You know what I mean? Like it's a, 
I know. It's a funny body language thing. It makes you look like you're real, like, like you're, it's like you're not totally focused on what you're saying because you know it so well. Like, it's just such a casual, like, hold on, I can talk to you and I can make myself more comfortable at the same time. Um, but yeah, it would be pleasurable. I, I don't have any luck with it if, if I'm not, uh, you know, masturbating. You gotta, you gotta be, <laughs> ma like, you gotta have, be stroking the. I didn't really know that this was gonna get this intense i i didn't watch this video <laughs> by like asking like focus on them and ask like you know how are you you know and you know what i'm saying before you just like go right in like before you just go right in you know what i'm saying just just how are you <laughs> he's got more y'all peace we're just out here breathing in that good ass prana baby and i'd like to tell you something i was just saying everybody has an intro catchphrase this is a memo I did not receive. I didn't know I was supposed oh, to. Oh, yeah, I'm of so kind of. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're breathing in that good ass prana. On my Instagram story, everybody wants to see you, you do good, but nobody wants to see you do better than them. Um, but basically, let's get into this video. Uh, and right now, like, you know what I'm saying? Food is medicine, you know, research slash know about Dr. Savvy, you know, saying fuck the program. Fuck those that are program, man. Fuck that shit, man. I mean, this is... Talk about an open valve. I mean, talk about the Tomaleep and Thorn Scrub has been removed from this valve. This is flow. You want to, this is, this is a light language translated to English is what this is. If you, if you put into Google translate light language, uh, Dan, a Daniel Scranton video, this is what he's saying. He's just rattling off truth bomb after truth bomb. Oh. Ain't serving nothing when somebody's just telling you some program shit and you're trying to program them to live their best life. And then they want to tell you some program stuff. No, I ain't trying to get programmed anymore. Um, so basically, yeah, I'm trying to get programmed, but in a positive way. That's why we watch Ralph Smart. So he programs us in a good, in a great way. You know, that's why. Does anybody know who Ralph Smart is? <laughs> that sounds like a name that, that I would make up. <laughs> hey, yeah, no, we listen to Ralph Smart. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ralph, I love Smart. Ralph Smart. I'm trying to get I'm programmed, to get programmed in a good in a way. way. That's why I watch Ralph Smart. We listen to 432 Hertz, so it programs us in a great way. Um, not the tail lie vision that programs your subconscious mind to be a egotistic, suicidal, depressed, MK Ultra, mind control this government which is governmental which is mind control so let's go into what we're going to talk about today uh, i really seen a post just a minute ago that kind of put it into perspective it was a, ba a band you know like a homemade band that says i in the sky as their uh, new album so basically i had um went to sleep at the top of this shed in the loft and you know it does kind of have like a pyramid shape you know a little point so that might be best for projecting energy it definitely is um especially how our our ancestors could get inside of pyramids and project their energy out uh and that's all we are is energy so with my pineal gland you got to have pineal gland open to understand 2020 you put your finger here for 20 seconds it'll it'll open it up and you got to have a pineal gland to have a soul inside your body uh, to hold your soul so let's get right into it you know um basically we're just going to be talking about what happened we might talk a little bit about past life updates um because we've been doing a lot um basically what happened wish i could just just spew like this i really do envy how people can spew let's see how he ends it that's always fun the world and they polluted the world and decided to rape children and drink adrenochrome. Okay. So here we go. You have you have all three courses in, in this meal. All food groups represented. Including Tomaleep and Thorn Scrub. Um, I guess let's check. Let's, I mean, you know, you see this guy at the, at the hotel pool. I pull up a chair. And I say, 
What's your name, friend? Boys and girls, it's Glenn Parker, High Vibration Foundation. You're also watching Glenn TV. I had my hands free this time. I remembered to bring my tripod. So what's the topic today, wait, wait, boys wait, and wait, girls? Wait. Well, okay, but I watch Zane Daniel, right? And so he's... Fuck, help me, help me understand this. So he's recording the video. I'm watching it. But it's not a live stream. It's that everything's happening at the same time. So he... He is doing this, even though here it says August 8th, 18th, 2016, but forget about that. If you just don't even, the fourth wall is you. I think that behind him, I think that might be Tom Aleep and Thorn Scrub, but I'm just gonna let him talk now. Staying more anchored in a 5D reality since your consciousness is actively shifting between a higher density state and a 5D reality and a 3D reality. You're bouncing back and forth and you're going to upgrade to a different operating system of the now of the one moment. The all are the one and the one are the all. If you exist now, then you always have existed and you always will exist. So. Jazz hands. You've been running a 3D operating system in time and space that there is linearity. <laughs> you know, I was trying to think of more fourth wall breaking things behind Deadpool and Fleabag. Malcolm in the middle. And this is a thing, you know, we're towards the end of the hour here, so here let's 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 let it, let's let it all out, okay? I did not I did not like Fleabag. I did not like what I saw of it. I did not watch the entire series. I watched part of the first one. I did not like it. And I'll tell you why. I live in, I mean, right now I'm in Pahrump, Nevada, but I spent, I, spent. I spent a lot of time in, in London. And I, I found that Fleabag was, was uh, just, you know, 40 minutes of, people not saying how they feel and and that's really common here in, in England people are very repressed and so Fleabag was just a little too real for me and it, it, it initially I thought it was because I didn't like fourth wall breaking because it had kind of been you know overdone a little bit recently with things like Deadpool but then I was like nah man but I I love Malcolm in the middle and it's kind of like Fleabag is kind of it's kind of like an English Malcolm in the middle but it's not as funny and it's just I just didn't like the thing of like somebody would 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 say something and then she looks at the camera and says the opposite of what that person said and then the conversation keeps going and like that just stresses me out man I don't really like being around that kind of stuff where people don't say how they feel like you know if you're at a restaurant and you don't like the food like you know you can you can fix it like you can you know you don't have to be a dick and like send back the food but like you can say you can say like oh you know it's i've had i've had better tamalip and thorn scrub man and i know this isn't a media review show and that uh nobody cares but you know i just really liked malcolm in the middle and that that's all i'm trying to say and it is now possible to shift higher and higher and higher octaves into a now reality where everything exists as one and a collective consciousness. And this is a prototype to test that theory out. <laughs> Can we see this again? <laughs> as one and a collective consciousness. And this is a prototype to test that theory. <laughs> I like, I like the shoulder tug because he's like treating his skin like a suit. I've, have you ever seen somebody pull on their skin like as if it's clothing before? <laughs> it's a good feeling. Yeah, to see if that can be done. A, we haven't blown this planet up and we're here and we were starting to remember with the, with the help and aid of our galactic friends and children. So he does, he, um, I looked at this man's, uh, channel further and he actually, um, he, he does get surgery to fix his eye. 
So good for him. It's not glass, uh, but he does, you know, it requires some medical attention. At time, do I want to go to a collective? Do I want to go to a collective? How do I reject the call? Sorry about that. Do I want to go to a collective and group of people that I know that are more in tune with my objectives of, of ascension or? I think I just liked the skin poll in this video. He also, he does meter reviews. He's, hey, he's like me. He reviews Grace and Frankie, which is a show that I like. I like Grace and Frankie. I like Lily Tomlin and I like Jane Fonda. And I like, has, have you guys seen nine to five? That's a 10 out of 10 film. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Everybody watch all seven Police Academy films and then watch 9 to 5. And then watch Paddington 2. That's all you got to do. That's your homework. And then, and then when the van's ready, I might need you to do some other stuff to make sure that me and little Thursday boy and Dick Spargale get out alive, okay? In love and light. Physical symptoms of ascension into 5D, or the fourth density, same thing. Now your DNA is upgrading, because we're moving into the next stage of existence. So yeah man, the Dolly movie. It's a, that's a great movie. It's really fun. You know, you know what else I think my problem is, is I don't think, I don't like anything that was made in the past 10 years, except for like a handful of things. 9 to 5 is great. Police Academy is great. Splash? Have you seen Splash? Dude, you gotta check out Splash. This video, but you still need to have a handle, one foot in this third density reality. So you need to take care of your physical body and build a stronger immune system by avoiding- This is symptoms of ascending to 5D. And so I'm hoping that maybe the rash that I have Feeling hot. Okay, here's a symptom. Let's go. I get hot feet all, all damn day. I got a clam foot. I got Tom Leapin thorn scrub just itching all the time. Thomas Fleener, I love you. I love you. I'm moving around faster. It's like boiling water. The molecules move around faster and create heat. As you're raising in vibration, as the frequency of the matter within you changes, you can have hot flushes as you're making <laughs> this ascension into this new vibration. I've made splash. So if this happens to you, take measures to try and cool down and try not to feel anxious about it. Cause I, I need a video to tell me what to do when I'm hot. You can exacerbate it because you're getting yourself worked up and creating more heat. Relaxation and meditation to try and bring your brain waves down Bring yourself closer into this third density again. As I say, you're still a physical third density human being. We need to try and maintain this vibration while still tuning into the next. It's like a balancing act. The hot flushes are like bursts of energy running through your being. The energy is being unleashed within you as well as it. So that's why you're hot. What's another? Here we go, maybe they'll talk about my rash. Cause I have a rash, but I know it's just because I'm ascending, but that's not on WebMD. It all says, it all says that it was caused by Tomalip and Thorn Scrub. Um, but it wasn't, I'm ascending. It was not, it's not the Thorn Scrub. It's not the Thorn Scrub. Starting to reject this vibration as your vibration is rising. And in addition, this purging is occurring. The negative energies that you may have collected throughout your lifetime are literally coming out through the skin. Now you're an energetic being. Wait, there's a there's a movie with Adam with Bill Murray and Tom. I like Tom Waits a lot, and I I especially like him in films. I'll check that movie out. Dead Don't Die. I've never heard of it, but I like I like Tom Waits. You know, I think I would like Mandy, but I I have not seen it yet. Um. But I think I would really like Mandy. And that's not true. I, I like things. I just, every time I watch a movie that was made before, like, 2005, I just like it so much better than most of the stuff that I see now. I mean, I also have a habit of watching whatever the newest Kevin Hart movie is. The newest Kevin James movie. I like, I like these Kevins that make these big budget accessible comedies. So maybe that's why I don't like recent stuff, because I watch, I, I kind of on purpose watch movies that I don't think are going to be very good. 
But then I watch movies from the 80s and 90s and early 2000s and I freaking I like them more. I like Tom Waits in Mystery Men a lot. Um, Tom Waits, listen, I actually, I do like Katy Perry. Her first album is good. Um, but Tom Waits takes some work. You got to listen to the first two records. And if you don't like those, then you're not going to, you're probably not going to like any of it. But if you can get into the first two records, that's your path. That's how you get in. And I still don't like all of it, but you know, I didn't like rain dogs at first, but now it's like one of my faves. Tango till they're sore is just is so good. Let's keep talking about rashes and Tom Leapin Thorn Scrub. Scrub. Yourself. Your body is energy within this reality. And the negative energies, they just find any way out. They just flow out. <laughs> and as they go out, it can cause irritation to the skin because it's exit points, which are strange exit points. And again, hotness, hotness on the skin, but skin irritation and rashes. So obviously take measures that you would do for skin irritation to calm a problem and get treatment, a healthy treatment for your skin irritations. Keep the skin cool and aired and relax and don't get anxious about it. This will run its course. All right, so I mean, I'll avoid the Tom Leap and Thorn Scrub because that's not doing me any favors, but I'm, you know, I guess this will run its course and it'll be fine. And you know what, I do think, I, I'm pretty sure Tom Waits is doing a character and I, you know, I, I'm into that. I like a guy doing, doing a character, I think it's fun. But yeah, Heart of Saturday Night is good. Listen to the song Grapefruit Moon. T you know, tell me about how you feel about Grapefruit Moon. Because as this is a purging of the negative energies, they will purge out. And if you're rejecting this reality, again, staying grounded in the third density as we move into the fourth does any, density. Does anybody know why, I mean, am I just not doing the math right? Or why is 5D the fourth density, but 3D is the third density? Or are we in 4D, according to her? And listen, blueberries are a part of the Ericaceae family. And this is for Jason. The manzanita you see, Arctostaphylus, it's in the same family as blueberries, okay? It's Ericaceae. So you can eat the manzanita berries, but they're probably not being cultivated for food, and they're, they're, they haven't been bred for food. They've been bred to grow in the wild. But you can eat the manzanita berries. But they're not going to taste good. You know, and this is the thing. You think that, you think that food that you, you find out in the wild is, is going to taste good. It's not. Because it's not, it's not adapted to taste good to you. It's adapted to survive. Do you know what I'm saying? So so this, so this, blueberries taste good, but manzanita berries, Arctostaphylos, do not listen. They do, they, they, they do not listen, taste good. Tom Leap and Thorn Scrub, do not touch it. And I have heard the VH1 Storytellers with Tom Waits. It's fantastic. He is just, he is bullshitting. It's so good. He talks about his friend Larry Beezer, and he opens with Tango Till They're Sore. And it's, and it's really good. And it's, I, I like Tom Waits. 5D, five dimensions. To move into the fourth density, stay grounded in this reality while still looking forward to the next. Okay, meditation, taking long walks as well. All right, well, I think, that <laughs> I think that's kind of all I have. Uh, and listen, we got, I kind of got to get planning this meeting, um, you know, at, uh, at 5.30, we're meeting in the parking lot, and my, my bro Stradivarius is bringing his, his hack, so we're going to bounce hack for a little bit, and then we're going to talk about organizing and seizing perump natural foods for the workers, and uh, it might turn into a co-op. I don't know. I won't be here for that because Dick Spargel. I don't have access to the Spargel tracker. That's in in the detention facility with LTB. But uh, Dick Spargel should be here within days. So the plan is I'll have Zeph's van fixed tomorrow. We get paid today. Have the meeting. Hopefully I'll have everyone here. You know, come around to my way of thinking. 
uh, and touching my feet. And then, I mean, we're meeting here. This is the rally point. This is the getaway point. And I'm telling you this because this is private. You know, don't put this on the internet. Not, not just anybody can hear this, especially not the feds. But so this is where we're meeting. Tom Leap and Thorn Scrub. And so hopefully, I'm hoping to form some kind of a human shield um, out of the workers here, if it comes to that. Hopefully, we'll come back here. Dick Spargell will tunnel in through the bulk, the bulk bins. I'm hoping to see Dick Spargell pop out of a bin of almonds with little Thursday boy in tow. We'll get in Zeph's van, and we'll hightail it straight on out of here. But plan B, we can use the workers here. You know, I hope, listen, I hope they survive, okay? I hope they live, and I hope they organize. They form a cooperative. I hope they get health care. But if the feds show up here, you know, I, listen, Chopo bless. I hope for the best. I mean, all the Tama Leap and Thorn Scrub in the world cannot protect us from the feds. But other things can. So, we're going to see how it goes. But either way, I'm getting my little blue boy out of, out of the state of Nevada. Hopefully, for good. Hopefully forever. Hopefully forever. Hopefully forever. Hopefully we never come back. So, thank you. Chopo Bless! Chopo Bless! Oh, that's a big place. 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 Oh, that's a big